Italian sports fans are famous for being some of the most passionate in the world, especially when it comes to soccer or football, depending on where you come from. So when all the spectators and players suddenly stop in the middle of a huge match featuring some of the nation's World Cup heroes, and everybody gazes skyward because of giant UFOs overhead, well, that's a story worth repeating. The capital of Italy's gorgeous Tuscany region is Florence, the beautiful and majestic city, the heart of which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well, this is what Florence, Italy looked like in 1954, and in late October of that year, over 10,000 people were attending a soccer match in the city stadium one afternoon, and it was just after halftime when everything stopped. The crowd stopped watching and even the players stopped running as everybody was looking up at the strange objects overhead and they were stunned by what they were seeing. These are news reports from the incident almost 70 years ago. Now accounts of the types of objects that were seen varies, some describing at least one like a huge egg similar to the avocado shaped craft that's believed to have crashed near Trinity, New Mexico in 1945. Other players and spectators that day, well, they said the objects looked like giant cigars. The iconic, long, cylindrical shapes that so many other sightings have involved, including some by former NASA insiders, claim a similar cigar-looking object has been spotted in our solar system, including some that are said to be many miles long, possibly hundreds. There's also the famous incident in Iran in the 1970s where an F-4 pilot allegedly shot at a cylindrical UFO as well. Now for the witnesses that day in Florence, Italy, they say the object suddenly moved overhead and then stopped and hovered for about five minutes. Across town, a newspaper journalist ran to the roof of his building near the city's iconic cathedral and recounted to the Italian TV show Voyager in 2003 that he saw several shiny balls of glowing light and he repeated the same story that just about everybody else did that day. That whatever those objects were, they were scattering some kind of strange material all over the city. Witnesses across Florence, Italy were baffled by the UFO sighting that day and the thin silk-like white strands dubbed angel hair that seemed to be falling all over the city. People say it disintegrated after about an hour or so on the ground, and many samples were sent to the Institute of Chemical Analysis at the University of Florence at the time. Spectrographic analysis showed that those strands contained magnesium, silicone, boron, and calcium, none of which was radioactive. But testing destroyed the samples. And it's interesting because critics say it was just spider silk that was falling on the city as it aligned with the proper time of year when spiders migrate in the northern hemisphere. Except spider silk is just protein strands and lots of amino acids, not made up of magnesium, silicon, boron, and calcium. So then if it wasn't spider silk, what was it and where did it come from? Well, 70 years later, nobody has a great answer, but there are theories. UFOs are known to make electromagnetic fields, so the ionized air around it could be sleeting off the energy field that is created and falling to the ground. Or perhaps UFOs using a gravity field generator, well the heavy atoms in the air would react to it, end up clumping together and falling to the ground. But it would dissipate as the level of ionization decreases, which could account for why it seemed to vanish on the ground after about an hour or so. Because spider silk doesn't do that. So what was it that fell to the ground and where did it come from? Well, no one's got a great answer, but it's not the only time it's been reported. The alleged miracle at Fatima back in 1917 allegedly involved the appearance of this angel hair-like material as well, and it fell during both the September and October incidents. And not far from Florence, on that same day back in 1954, as that infamous soccer match was taking place, people in Venice were reporting similar objects in the sky, including that falling angel hair to the ground. And those are just two of many reports. Either way, 1954 was a big year for UFO historians and conspiracy theorists. You see, in 1954, it's alleged that then US President Dwight Eisenhower held several meetings with aliens to broker agreements with humans. The idea was sharing technology, access to resources, and specifically, allowing for human abductions. 
Now, it's not to say that these incidents are connected, but it bears mentioning that in the 1950s, the decade was awash with both credible and dubious UFO sightings. But whatever folks were seeing, it seemed to be happening all over the world. And it seems to be happening still to this day. I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have great new material coming all the time. There's some helpful links in the description if you'd like to learn more. And be sure to share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. What do you think all that material is falling on the cities? Stay tuned. There's another great video coming up next.